Hi, my name is Brian. I'm with the Tempe Public Library. And today I just wanted to bring you another iPhone and iPad tip, especially for those of you who are working from home as we do our part to slow the spread, or for anyone who's just looking to learn some new tech skills. Now today's tip is all about Siri. Now Siri is just Apple's version of a digital assistant that uses artificial intelligence to help you get things done. And today I just wanted to show you a few things that you might not realize Siri can do for you. To activate Siri, we're just going to press and hold on the side button. Or if you have one of the older phones, press and hold on the home button. You can now ask Siri to do a task for you. If you're working from home, Siri can really help you with some of your daily tasks. Just say something like, schedule a team meeting tomorrow for 8 a.m. It's on your calendar for tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Or you can say something like, remind me in an hour to email my sales report. OK, added. Siri's also great at sending quick messages by email or text. You can say something like, email Gary today's invoice. OK, what would you like the email to say? I got your email and everything looks good. Here's your message to Gary. You'll even have a chance to check your message before you send it, just to make sure there's no typos. Or you can say something like, text Julie, we just got today's shipment in. Here's your message. Ready to send it? Siri can do some other practical things like calculating the tip on the food you just had delivered. Just say, what's a 20% tip on a bill that's $36.95? The tip is $7.39. You can also ask Siri to define or spell a word for you. How do you spell dyslexia? Siri can also use the GPS in your phone to help you find things that are around you. Just say something like, where's the nearest gas station? I hope you found those tips helpful, and I hope that we can meet again soon. Until next time, have a great day.